Hey everyone, Andrew Chelman here for MachineSkills.com. In this video, I want to give a quick overview of the Machine 2.2 update um, and how it works with some of the hardware. Now, there's been a couple good videos out for the uh, Machine Studio, how it works with the Machine Studio hardware. Um, but for me, I want to show how it works both with the Mark II hardware, and maybe talk about it a little bit in detail, and then I'll give a quick overview of how it works with the Micro hardware, just to show you some of the same controls. Um, so with all that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, so the Machine 2.2 update um, includes a couple different features, um, like for the studio it has some touch sensitive knob upgrades, um, but for the for the most of us the big thing is going to be the scales, the arpeggios, and the chords. So that's what I'm going to focus on in this video. So what I've done here is loaded up a quick patch from Massive, and I'll show you how to go um, work with some of those um, some of those chords and scales and whatnot. And so everything is, uh, to, to start with, everything is going to be in the keyboard mode in the pad mode menu. So I'm going to go ahead and enter into here. Now a quick little tip, if you want to have this lock and uh, sort of latch so you don't have to hold this down, just hold this down and then press the top button up there. Now that's going to stay lit and uh, we can work in that menu. So now we're in pad mode, we can go ahead and enter in, uh, we can go ahead and enter into keyboard mode. So just do that by pressing that top button there. And now we can see we have our traditional view that we're used to. So we have the 16 pads controlling the chromatic scale. And with this, we can change our octaves, so we can go down an octave, and we can change our semitones. Um, basically the same stuff that we're used to seeing. Um, however, there's a little bit of a change here. We can see that our, um, our pads that indicate our root notes, so our Cs, are now a little bit brighter. So that shows you the different octaves. Here's a 1C, and then here's an octave higher. So that is a nice little feature there, just to sort of understand where you're playing on the pads. But even more interesting is the, the feature that we can now use different scales for the pads. So like I said, it defaults to the chromatic scale, but we can go ahead and turn our first knob here to select um, some different scales. So for instance, we have our major scale here. We also have our minor scale. And then so on and so forth. We have several different scales we can choose from. Um, so I really recommend playing with these. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of fun and very easy to find inspiration. One of my favorite things to do is just get a, a track going and then load up an instance, uh, maybe maybe some sort of instrument like a lead instrument, and then play it in the scale mode. And you can basically play any note you want and it's going to sound in key. So, so you can just like throw your hand at the pads and everything will sound good. So it's a re really a uh, really useful feature, especially for playing live. Now our same, uh, same options here with the octave up and down and the semitone up and down are going to apply. So we can change our octave, and we can change our semitone. So the same things that we're used to there, but now our pads are going to stay locked in this scale. Um, so a very nice update here, and that's, that's basically what it is to cover. It's, it's a pretty easy, uh, pretty easy feature to get into. Um, the fun starts to come when you play around with the different scales in your specific project. Um, so there we go, that covers the scale feature in Machine. Um, now we can go ahead and move on to the chords. Um, so here we see on our knob here we have our chord mode. So right now it's defaulted to off, but if we go ahead and turn this, uh, we have a couple different options here. So first of all we have our harmonic chord, and then we can also change the type that we're going to play. So this is going to be in line with your scale. So right now I have it on chromatic, but if you change it to one of these other scales, the chords are going to match. And then you can change the type. And lots of options there. And like we talked about earlier, our octave down and semitone changes are always going to work, and you can see that the screen will tell you what notes you're actually playing. So good stuff here. Um, that covers the, the um, harmonic mode, and a really cool other feature is the chord set. Now these are some pre-recorded sets of chords, um, and you can go ahead and select these different types. So for instance, if I just play these out, maybe a little easier to hear if I increase the octave. So tons of cool chord progressions that you probably wouldn't think of otherwise. 
and um, this is a really nice thing because it actually tells you what chords you're playing. So um, it's not just what sounds good, it's also um, what sounds good and you can know what, what you're actually playing, so you can work with that. And there's a couple different major ones and some minor ones as well. So just play through these and you'll probably find some sweet ideas um, that, that's very inspiring there. I really like this feature. and I've already used it in a couple of projects, so um, I really, really like this. Um, and that covers the, the chords, both the chord sets and the harmonic chords. Um, so there we go. That is um, what, what I'm going to cover in regards to the pad mode. Now there's also a nice feature um, built into the note repeat, and this is going to be our arpeggios. So um, we're, for this to work, I'm going to go into the note repeat menu. And just like we did before, um, I'm going to lock that and um, we can play around with some different features here. So right now, if I just play the notes, you can hear that it's our basic note repeat, um, just a repeated individual note. But the cool thing happens when we go back into pad mode and turn on a chord. Now go back to note repeat. Now we start getting these nice arpeggios. And this is going to depend both on your chord and your scale. So you can go back into your keyboard mode here and then um, change any of these around as well as the chord you're playing, and then go back into note repeat. And a quick little tip here, if you lock this in, um, and then you exit it, you don't have to keep going back to that menu. So nice little feature there. So this is really nice because you can play around with different scales. And the same different chords that we're doing, we can also go back into the chord set menu. Really cool stuff there, it's so easy to play. Uh, I think it really expands the pads into something more than just 16 little pads. It really expands it into more of an instrument in my opinion. I'm really liking this. Um, and the nice thing is you can go back into note repeat here and then you have some more features that um, that are pertinent to the arpeggio arpeggio menu here. So we can go um, and change uh, the type of our arpeggio. So some different options there. We can also change the rate as well as either normal or triplet or dotted. You can also change some different features here. I would just recommend playing around with this. Um, I like playing with the gate here. Really cool stuff there. Um, it's, it's all right here, so I would just recommend playing around with that and seeing what sounds good to you. Now, as a quick note that I just wanted to throw in here, if you're working with a monophonic patch, you can hear that you actually can't play a chord. Um, so just a quick note, if you try to go back into our chord menu here, um, let's see here, and, and play some chord sets, that's not actually going to work because you, because your uh, instrument can only play a single note at a time. So if you're experiencing any difficulties there, it might be because your, your patch is set to only play one note at a time. Um, so that is just a quick note there. I think that covers everything that I wanted to show. Um, basically everything is in the keyboard mode menu here as well as a note repeat menu over here. So um, that's going to be the main places to look for and I would just start experimenting and, um, and using these features in your next projects. So with that said, um, that covers the Mark II. I'll go ahead and move on to the Micro just to show you the same controls. So on the Micro it's going to be pretty similar. First I'm just going to select my pad here. And we're going to go into keyboard mode and I can lock this by holding the control button so now it will latch and now I can go into keyboard mode like we did before and you can see here we have our options just by using these arrows here so I can go over to my scale type and there they are um, just what we're used to seeing and then we have our chord mode over here as well so let's find something like this, and then chord mode we have both our um, harmonic and our chord set features. So that is where the chords and scales are located on the micro. 
Now to get to the arpeggios, we're going to go into note repeat, and like I did before, if it isn't latching, you can go ahead, press the control button, and now we can do our same options here. And like we did before, we can lock our note repeat, so if we exit it, it's going to stay on. And then go back into our chord menu here and play around some of these. So that is everything on the micro. Again, it's basically all in the keyboard mode menu here with this button, and the note repeat menu with this button here. Um, so that's going to be the main places to look. And um, hopefully that shows you where to get started with this nice 2.2 update. So as always, if you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comments. I'll be checking them once in a while and getting back to you as soon as I can. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.